Um, oh, yeah, Byron. Byron. We're going to Byron. Yep. Just so that, you know, a lot of cool the golf photos with the fog and the mountains and so forth. We stopped, um, me, Ruben, Nisha, Gabby, Adam, and Oliver to take some photos. Um, they went up ahead of us and reached the glacier before us. We stopped and took a, a ton of photos and we're throwing rocks in the river and so forth. Again, from, from day three and day four, the trip really picked up for me. It really felt like it was worth the whole effort of coming up here as far as what we got to see visually. Uh, Byron was amazing. So we stopped, like I said, several times and just took photos by the river and wherever we saw cool rocks, we'd get together and try to date, take group photos. <laughs> that, was, that was a fun sequence. Uh, but, okay, so we finally Ooh. actually make it to the glacier uh, in age and stuff and Chris and Ailey were there. I don't know, what, what do you think, I, 10 or 15 minutes before us? Yeah, they were there. So they had, had been there plenty of time, but we got there and we were just smitten by the place. Uh, and it started raining, and, and they left, understandably. And we just kept hanging out in the rain because we were just in such awe of the experience of this thing uh, with the formation of the the ice and so forth. We had a lot of fun crawling on it. Um, I have videos of us probably doing some very dangerous stuff going in the water underneath the, the domed glacier, which I read... It can give way at any moment and mm -hmm. collapse and kill us all. Yeah, I would feel it definitely could could die very easily. It's it's pretty hard solid ice. It, it was yeah. when we were trying to balance on the rocks crossing the river. Uh, I started slipping and I wanted to uh, <laughs> steady myself by putting my hand on the glacier, but it's just freaking ice. And I put my hand on it. My hand just went so that yeah. did not help me at all. It, it almost made things worse that I tried to steady myself on the glacier. Mm -hmm. But we went crawling into the river and under this tunnel. We got some really amazing panoramics. I mean, just like breathtaking stuff. We were able to take a few photos with AJ stuff, Chris and Haley. And then, I, as I mentioned, Chris and Haley were hanging all over each other in these photos. And stuff <laughs> was just making out with the glacier. She was like... F AJ, if I can't get any action with AJ, I'm going to start licking this glacier. <laughs> See, look at AJ. He seems dejected. Yeah, just, look at that. Yeah, like, here's Chris and Haley, like, just hanging on to each other. And AJ's just like, man. And they're... See, look at her. Yeah. She's just, like, licking the glacier. <laughs> Videotaped a lot during this point because I very badly wanted to see one of us fall in, whether it was me or not. Could have been. It could have been. You could've know, been I, just, I just wanted to get it all videotaped um and i guess i should have expected it was going to be oliver and it was uh it which was. i and i did capture it and it was captured obviously i laughed at him we all did in no fact, no it, it got passed around what at whatsoever we all laughed well, i'm gonna post it and we'll we will again. we will make fun of him when he is older <laughs> because we're good people that way and of course adam he had to be Adam and he made it all the way like it, onto this big rock in the center of this river going under there. It was it was a lot of fun. And there's AJ in the distance wondering how he lost his wife to a glacier. <laughs> <laughs> he's also I think he's watching Adam and thinking, man, if I was a man like that and could jump to big rocks would yeah. stuff love me more yeah where did i yeah, go wrong something that crossed my mind i mean where did i go wrong how did we, how did we go from like him overcoming his cocaine toe addiction <laughs> <laughs> you know i i thought that whole marriage story was gonna be a happy ending but apparently we've come to <laughs> another impasse yeah it's we'll see how that goes it was so cool and even though it was we were under a covering it was still like it was raining underneath the glacier because of just all the melt coming off of the ceiling. Yeah. So we were trying to just do creative group photos. Here, Gabby wants to do homage to her grandpa Aww. by doing the, the sexy lay down. We just had a lot of fun up there. Scooching around, taking selfies, group photos, panoramics. Um, 
I could not sm- stop smiling. What's this? Once getting to Byron, the, the whole environment. It was. Mm-hmm. Put the greatest joy inside my heart. So we went to Portage. After, is that what that whole little thing was called, Portage, or was it just Portage Trail? It was a Portage Trail. Was Portage, right trail. Portage Trail and we, Portage Lake. Okay, we were going to do Portage Trail. We Portage had to go, Pass Trail. Yeah. We had to go through this two-mile-long tunnel. Whittier Tunnel. Yeah. Relic from World War II. <clears throat> totally unexpected, in my opinion. Do you want to get in? Yeah, so did you, prior to getting to that checkpoint, did you know that there was a tunnel coming? Like on the, I was I was aware. Yeah. Okay, so I did. I looked at like the top trails, and this is one of them. I had mentioned it to Judah. Like this would be cool, and he's like, "Oh, we'll think about it." Yeah. And he said, "Yeah, I think we're gonna go if you guys want to, or we're going with or without you." I think you said or something yes. like that. So we're like, "Cool, yeah, whatever." We wanted to go there. It was raining, so we we're gonna see how we felt, how much the rain was coming down. But yeah, so they get to this. Uh, checkpoint and we're like what is this it's just a we thought it was just a toll yeah. and like we couldn't really see the tunnel quite yet we oh. thought we saw it but then um yeah they go through and then uh, i'm talking to the lady and i'm hacking up like loogies so i'm going a tunnel <laughs> 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 and i go wait we're with them and they're like yeah you're going through the tunnel <laughs> and so everyone's just laughing at me the whole rest of the trip, Chris is going, a tunnel? <laughs> the whole rest of the day. But I will say the tunnel was, well, it was pretty cool, well worth it, even if we didn't really, we hiked a little bit on from our yeah. side, but yeah, it was pretty cool to go through there. Um, I was... Ruben? Yeah. You got any good tunnel jokes? I know a joke that involves a hole in some... If things aren't going holes. through and coming out, it's not a tunnel joke. Okay, so a mole... A mole pokes his head out of, a mama mole pokes her head out of the tunnel, out of the tunnel, and she says, I smell uh, sausage. And then the dad mole pokes his head out of the tunnel, they're both poking up, and he says, I smell pancakes. And then the baby mole tries to poke his head up, but he's kind of stuck in between them and can't get all the way up. And he says, oh, all I smell is mole asses. Mole asses. <laughs> You're, okay. you're gonna find that more funny once you watch one of my other can videos. I? Yeah. <laughs> can I? Misha. Yep. You got any good tunnel jokes? No. Can I? Only Gabby, a you got any good tunnel jokes? I don't, don't, any tunnel jokes. Gabby, I don't know any Gabby. tunnel jokes. I have no tunnel jokes. Adam, you got any good tunnel jokes? I got nothing. The pun man has no tunnel jokes. The pun joke. man, pun man. coming. Oh yeah, pun man. pun man. Oh, he's one pun man. Remember? One pun. Man. <laughs> one Did you pun. use your pun today? Adam was taking it like a champ. <laughs> it looked like he was going pretty quick, and uh, Steph was yelling at me because I wasn't going fast enough. Um, I was hitting like 20 miles per hour. I don't even. What was the speed? I think 25. Okay. And you guys like me, and I'm like, oh. Well, I wasn't driving. That's the, it. Was uh, two and a half miles. It was miles. definitely. Um, they, it's it's kind of weird. Like on each side, uh, and they have this schedule as as to because it's a one way. So they hold all the traffic on one side, and they just let forever amounts of traffic come through. And then they lower down these gates, and they stop. And there's like six lanes on one side with a stoplight at each lane, and they just fill up those rows, waiting for the schedule to hit. And then they open it up. But it also, the tunnel is for trains. Mm-hmm. So trains and cars... So then sometimes when it's, when it's train time, then the schedule gets all messed up and they stop both sides and they got to <laughs> let this, this train go through. But sitting there waiting for your turn to go through is a bit of a challenge and people yeah. get out and I, I noticed a lot of people were getting out and socializing with other people parked by them. So I'll ask you, I asked them, do you got any good tunnel jokes? Hey, funny stuff. You got any good tunnel jokes? You're really not, you're not selling this funniest person in school thing to me. I'm retired. I'm sure you're tired. If there was a sign put up, I'm sure you saw this head past this point, roads are not maintained. Mm. No joke. It was, and I felt, oh, Adam was going yeah. slow, but I felt he was going still too fast yeah. because we were, we were rocking in that thing. So that was the road you had to take to get to the yeah. um, area with the... The Lu Young Okay, yeah. Lu Young Park. Lu Young Park? Lu Young Park. It, it was cool. It, it was... I, I was bummed because we had to shoot off really fast to get a yeah. spot to get back across that 
to wait that another tunnel. 45 wait an minutes. Hour. Yeah, to yeah. wait another hour. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but we were there, and it was, there were some major pitch, picturesque moments yeah. Yeah. with the fog and the trees on both sides. Just so cool. It was just swarming with some breed of salmon. Um, they were black on the, the sides, and white they had a the white bottom. stripe on the, the back. Possibly yeah. pink. Or humpies could have been humpies. Humpies. Yeah. We didn't make it to this point oh, on, okay. on our we car. We uh, got distracted at the museum laundromat um, oh. gift shop. That's <laughs> right. I want to hear more about that. This is this is a combo. Yeah. You know, sometimes you you see things like the Swiss Army knife. That's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is similar. You, you have this 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 tool this that has almost anything you could possibly need. So he's telling me about this laundromat, museum, what else? Gift shop Gift and shop. hotel on and the top. Ho- oh, really? Oh, yeah. too? I wow. mean, grocery store. Oh, and it was a grocery, grocery store. How can you go wrong with that? So give us your experience with this yeah, marvel, we, uh, marvel of... <laughs> Chris talked us into going to check it out. He said sometimes these are the best places to go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that started. And uh, you know, we make it in there and we go to the gift shop part um, first, which turned out to be more or less a hardware store with some groceries in there, <laughs> and uh, a man was working on just like some construction or fixing it, and there was a lady that was just barking orders at him. Oh. And that was the gist of it there. I mean, you can get some bungee cords, um, <laughs> or they have these really large blocks of cheese that caught Chris's eye. Um, <laughs> just a random, yeah, so then there was the laundromat, which was just a laundromat. Yeah. And you make your way to the uh, the actual museum, which was supposed to be this exciting part, and it said five dollar entry. And Chris was like, "Oh, this could be cool. Let's at least peep in." It was about ten feet long, so um, <laughs> got about a two or a buck a buck a foot maybe or so in there. Oh. So we decided to uh, say no to that, and um, we went to another creek that was pretty cool. Probably not as cool as the one you guys were at, though. Oh yeah, you did text me about that. Yeah, and it was, we it. had some cool pictures. There was a triple waterfall in the distance, oh. which was nice. Um, oh, cool. It was pouring down rain at the time, and we didn't have any reprieve, so we didn't oh. stay long. Okay. okay. Uh, that was nice. Yeah, Oliver. That <laughs> was nice. All of a sudden, it was just <laughs> quiet yeah. in the car. I was, was like, there an Are you there a story or something that happened? Oh, no. Are we there? He, yeah, he, he I has... think we were just waiting for that tunnel to open up when he fell asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. That's the end of part one of day five. This episode was a little weird. Uh, didn't have a real great cutoff point to start part two. So next week, it's going to be really short, like four or five minutes. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe. Please like and please share. Need to boost my views, get some more subscribers. On a more serious note, Uh, If you're struggling with cocaine toenail addiction, please reach out to AJ. He loves to share his story. He may even be willing to sponsor you if that's something that you're struggling with. And good job, buddy. I'm so glad you beat that. I I hope the best for you and Steph and the rest of your life together. It's so amazing. Glad to see you overcome that together. Uh, I have also recently started posting on Rumble and Odyssey. If you prefer to watch things on those platforms, please check me out there, Fourth Tribe. Again, just the Yosemite and uh, Alaska trips at this point. Maybe we'll work on some other stuff like the Acadia, get some more details on the cocaine toenail lore there. Thanks again. Bye.